Hey guys, Jared Codling here, and you hack every week, and today I'm talking about instant articles. And this is actually take two, I accidentally recorded the wrong screen, so bear with me. Uh, I'm saying all of this for the second time. Hopefully this time around, it's even better. Um, so I'm going to walk you through the basics, plus the hacks. Um, and I'm going to start with, what is an instant article? So um, if you, instant articles are on Facebook, they're only on mobile. And they're wherever you see this little lightning bolt just here next to the uh, name of the website. These can be ads or they can be organic posts. Works for both of them. Um, so, basically it loads instantly, only on mobile. And um, here's the first little bit of why you would want to do it. You can insert these little call to action boxes and it's already pre-filled with the person's Facebook email address. So instead of them on a mobile having to enter their freaking email address, which is a real pain in the ass, it's a huge friction point, it's already pre-filled, uh, which means they've only got to hit one button and hum, and, and then they subscribe to your newsletter. So that in itself is awesome, um, but there's much more awesome stuff we can do with this. So they can also have ads in them, and so you can supply these or you can make money off the audience network. You make fuck all, it's totally not worth doing that, um, but a lot of the big news sites do that. It shows up as saying sponsored here, um, but I'm going to show you a way around that. And they can also show more content just down the bottom. So it'll show related articles or even more from you and, and stuff like that. Um, just a hint, put your sales page here. Um, if you're doing content, then yeah, put your sales page here and, um, and that's a great place for it. Um, because it doesn't need to necessarily be an instant article that you're linking to at the bottom with these related ones. It could be a non-instant article. It could be a normal, traditional article or website, which could very well be your sales page. So here's the benefits of instant articles. So firstly, you get a higher click-through rate. Uh, I get about 20% higher click-through rate, and that leads to a cheaper CPM. Uh, I also think that Facebook favors these because they're actually keeping you on the platform. And uh, any time that I do that, whether it's instant articles or canvas ads, I seem to get quite a bit cheaper CPM. So overall, it's just cheaper to get people to my site. Uh, and in this case, to the instant article that I'm showing them. There's a pre-filled CTA box, which I showed you before, so much less friction, it'll have a higher conversion rate. It's instant loading. So what you'll notice is, if you're really into analytics with Facebook, is you get X amount of link clicks and then you get slightly less actually viewed the page, um, actually viewed the content. Um, I, I monitor that a lot. Um, you'll see a discrepancy between Facebook and Google Analytics. Google Analytics will typically show less. This is because people leave during the page load. And while there's things that we can do to speed up our page load, um, this is instant. So we can't get any better than this. So um, this is you know, great for that. The other thing is uh, internal interaction. So within a instant article, if you've got an image, people can like and comment within the article. So then when more people go through, there's social proof within the article. So um, that's an amazing point of difference as well. Uh, and users seem to trust them more. I know I'm more likely to click on an instant article than a normal article because I know I'm not going to get spammed with pop-ups and stupid shit. That leads me to the downsides of instant articles. You can't do pop-ups and stupid shit, like overlays, uh, which is effective stuff. So that is the downside. And you've got to follow this set format. So you'll notice that instant articles, they're always laid out very similar. They only have a certain, they have a certain style to them. So yes, you can change the fonts and all that, and the colors and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, it does have quite a set format as to how they work. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing because it doesn't look good, um, but uh, it does limit what you can do. So here's how it works. Anytime Facebook looks at an external link, so let's say um, you know there's an ad and it goes to www.newhackeveryweek.com slash article name. Um, if it's on a mobile and it's like an instant article enabled device, uh, it'll first check if it has an instant article version. So Facebook will say, okay, um, before we send them over to that website, let's see if we've got an instant article version of that exact same content. Because um, the idea is that your instant articles will reflect what you actually have on that page. So you'll have these, um, yeah, so for each URL on your site that's content, you could have an instant article version. And I'll show you there's ways to automate that. So if there is one, it'll always serve that. Once again, this is only on mobile. So first, use a plugin if you can. So WordPress has an official Facebook plugin for this. Uh, others such as Weebly, Wix, and all that kind of stuff, you can integrate it as well. So just Google that. Uh, I won't walk you through that, but let me know if you get stuck. Um, but this is a really easy way to do it because you can have it. So each time you post content on your blog, it will automatically turn it into an instant article and upload it to Facebook. It's that easy. Here's the flow of how it uploads to Facebook. So 
you write an article on your blog, the plugin pushes it over and turns it into the instant article code, which is you know, just fancy HTML with some extra little tricks and stuff in it, um, extra little features so that it's styled the way that Facebook wants it. It's very limited HTML, I'll put it that way actually. Um, it's, it's a toned down version, there's only so much you can do. That pushes it to your Facebook page. So when you manage your page, uh, go to the Publishing Tools tab, and then on the left-hand side, it'll have Instant Articles. Uh, so you can see all your settings there. So you can configure all your, your text and all that kind of stuff, like how it looks there. You can also decide which articles are live and which ones aren't. So you can actually edit the Instant Articles code as well. So I'm going to get, like I'm showing you the basics, and you really don't need to go into the complex hacks here. But um, this is new hack every week, so I'm going to show you how much you can hack this if you really have the motivation to, and you're going to make money off it. So um, you edit the code on desktop, and then you preview it on your phone using the Facebook Pages Manager app. And so I'll show you one of my previews in a little bit. But uh, basically, if an instant article is in the production section and it's marked as live, it'll automatically work when you run ads or if you make an organic post. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. And guys, I'll just drag this over here so you can see. So inside my publishing tools, um, here's a heap that I've got as live. You can have them as unpublished and it's under production articles inside publishing tools and here's your instant articles. You can do your configuration, your call to action units, uh, and you can even see some example articles here. Um, and you'll see the markup and it's just a lot like HTML. So if you're not a coder, don't worry. If you're using a plugin, you do not need to touch this stuff. If you want to hack it like crazy, then you will have to touch the stuff or get somebody at Upwork to do it. But I'll, um, I'll show you that stuff in a sec. Um, okay, back to our slide deck. So in short, Use instant articles. Um, there's more thorough tutorials online on how to use the plugins and all that stuff. I won't bore you with those details. Um, some of yours will do a better job than me. But this is you hack every week. So here's how much you can hack this. I'm going to show you because I really took this to the extreme. So I read the instant articles documentation, and um, not many people do because they put it out in webinar formats, like an hour and a half. And I was like number 14 to watch this freaking webinar, and it had been out for four months. So nobody's actually looking at this. But I discovered this sneaky little bit where it allows iframes. And so an iframe for the non-tech people, uh, a way to think about an iframe is it's a little box or a big box, it can take up the whole screen. Uh, it's a box inside a website which actually contains another website. So it's a website within a website, it's just kind of framed. And it can take up the whole thing if you want. So what that means though, is that we can put an iframe inside an instant article, which means essentially we can put another website inside an instant article. So when I worked that out, I was kind of like, hold on, well that means there's no rules anymore. Because I can just put anything that I want in an iframe inside the instant article and I don't have to worry about the way that they style it and all that, you know. They don't let you do that much with instant articles. This allows me to do anything I want. So here's the other thing I worked out. Facebook don't look at your instant articles um, when they're approving your shit. They literally just look at the normal content page, the normal article. They don't look at what you're doing in the instant article, let alone with your iframes. So I was able to get away with whatever the hell I wanted, um, which I won't go into everything black hat that I got away with, but um, I'm sure you can work some of it out. But um, here's a look what you can achieve. So this right here, this is an instant article inside the Pages app on the iPhone. Um, and as you can see, this does not look like a normal instant article. Um, I've basically, now this is a little bit broken. This is an older one. I've, I've got to show you an older one. I can't show you recent shit that I'm actually running. But um, but basically, as you can see, I was able to put an entire sales page inside an instant article. Um, and that actually did swipe left and right. And like I was able to, yeah, my entire sales page. And you know, there's certain stuff in here which you just normally can't get away with. Like, um, uh, where is it? Um, yeah, like using testimonials that screenshots from Facebook. like. Yeah, they normally come down on you on that, and I'll share some other tips on how to get dodgy shit approved, but yeah, as you can see, I fit a whole sales page in here, and I was able to use a totally non-traditional uh, instant, instant article layout. I was able to do whatever the hell I wanted, and um, that got approved no problem. So what can you insert using iframes? Well, full designs and sales pages, like I just showed you. You can also, if you wanted to go like the light version of this, you can put in your own ads, and it doesn't say sponsored. So that little sponsored thing I showed you at the start, the Huffington, Huffington Post one, um, you don't need to have sponsored on there. It will literally just show like a native ad in the middle of your article. It's going to have a heaps higher click-through rate when it doesn't say sponsored. Um, 
if that's what you're using this for, then awesome, it's great. Uh, but if you want to push it really far, and there's a few people in the group that do grey and black hat stuff to make a lot of money, um, all their non-compliant stuff that they're worried about getting their ad account banned from, put it inside an iframe, inside an instant article, and you will probably get away with it. Um, although I can't guarantee that, so if you lose your account, it's not my freaking fault. Uh, but I, I will tell you that, you know, in my experience, I'm able to get pretty much anything approved. So why would you go to all this effort? Well, now you're gonna have a lower CPM, a higher click-through rate, instant loading sales pages, and it doesn't get as much scrutiny by Facebook ad approvals, because let's face it, sometimes you're just on the fringe of what's gonna get approved, and they, they decline you one day of the week, and they approve you another day of the week. Well, you don't even have to worry about that if you go like this. Um, if it seems complex, then you know any coder off Upwork can handle this for under $50, like the whole iframe thing. Um, I'm happy to share code of how I did it. Um, but yeah, if you want a video on my outsourcing standard operating procedures, um, just let me know. I'm happy to help. Whatever you need, guys. Uh, but that's it. Fire away with your questions. Uh, but at a minimum, I would just say, you know, if you are pushing content, if blogging and content pieces are part of your strategy for your business, then you should definitely be using instant articles. Um, so even if you don't do the hacky part, just use instant articles because they're awesome. All right, thanks guys. Talk soon.